What's up guys? It's the real deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to teach you how to gear cleanse like a boss. So gear cleansing is really important. We want to make sure we are keeping the best pieces of gear and sets. Um, so we'll be looking at that in a moment. But as you can see, we have a problem. We have overflow. And this can just be a real ball ache. So, you know, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we've got some space because Polarium keep releasing gear sets and they're not really giving us that much space. So the first thing I'm going to do, I mean, one thing you can do is you can just sort of scroll through and I don't know, if we probably go down to Stone Skin, you'll see that's a... Pro so Savage, not too bad to be honest. But if we keep scrolling down come down to stone skin stone skin is usually i mean swift perry as well is pretty bad um but uh, yeah um perception it's a good gear set so it's a little difficult but this is outrageous what am i doing so i think it's something that we all do you know you get really excited you get some good gear and you just keep it keep it keep it and you don't do the cleanse so the first thing we're going to do is I like to start with weapons. So we'll start off with weapons first of all. Just going to come back up. And then I'll sort of scroll down. And this is a really good way to easily identify where there's a problem. So we're all good here. I like to try and keep three, like three max. I mean, it's really hard to do sometimes. And you do have to break the rules. I mean, with... Relentless, it's a really hard gear set to come by. And this is almost a terrible piece, except it's got loads of accuracy. So my thinking is I will keep this for a debuffer or a hybrid champion where I need resistance and accuracy. Uh, and then I have to make up the speed somewhere else. Um, so I would literally just flick through. And again, it's really hard to get. That's a good piece. So hard to get that those rolls in speed in relentless so probably keeping pieces that i shouldn't this piece can go you know we've just had a quick flick through and we can see that we've already got a lot of pieces with um one rolling speed and that one it's not bringing like it was just like a hp roll not really bringing anything that i really want so bin it just bin it so savage again that's a pretty decent piece not amazing but not bad you know got three decent rolls this would be good on a hp new car so worth holding on to next one again not this one's probably even worse actually because there's no speed roll but i'm just holding on to it because one thing that i've learned is ideally like if you wanted to build your perfect champion say they're a hp new car we would have hp boots percentage boots but the problem with that is is you need so many pieces of gear all with like rolls in speed and it just takes ages and ages and ages and you sort of slow down progression and it's actually just better just to pick up some speed boots and then you know just try obviously you're always trying to get that speed roll in every single piece but it just means that there's just one piece that's not gonna have speed and you can live with that i mean again that's actually a piece that i can sell that's there's no crit damage and there's no speed we're not we don't have enough decent subsets i should have never kept this piece to be honest shouldn't have got rolled up in the first place again oh this is a tough one because it's got a triple roll in crit rate is kind of good i mean this is way better i should I, I think that's the problem as well is that when we gear cleanse we i mean this as well yeah, it's nice that there's attack, crit rate, and crit damage, but again, I'm never I'm never really gonna use that piece. Same with this one. I just need to get rid of it. And this one too. It's it's a shame. Like, but this is what happens. We become attached to gear and we just need to get rid of it. I mean, provoke I'm a little bit lenient with because I'm lacking provoke gear on the account. Um yeah. It's just, if these just had, like, accuracy on them, they would be good. Um, 
but obviously they don't. So I'm just going to keep those three pieces. This one gets away of it because it's a double roll and speed and kind of nice substats because it just means we can squeeze some extra damage out. Um, let's keep going. Just going to, I just want to try and do this quickly as possible just so you guys, oh, I mean, that's a very nice piece. Just so you guys get a good idea of what we should be keeping. Oh, hello. Speed four. Wow. That is a like that's a god tier piece. Um, just another you know, I know we're gear cleansing today, but I want to show you guys a really nice trick. And one of my favorite things to do. Because sometimes when you're building out a champion, you forget how much good gear you've got in the account. So I need to remind myself how to do this. I've not done it for a long time. So you do hired set filters. And then we're going to go to um, priority stats. And then like if we just do crit rate high, you can, and then scroll to the top, you can actually see what's the best piece. Like, whoa, quad roll. I mean, that is a god tier piece of, like, you know. Um, and it's like another thing as well. We become obsessed with um, just trying to always get sets. And it's not always possible. It can be so hard to always get like, you know, I would love to always do like, you know, savage and then crit damage. But in the real world, it takes so long to get those pieces. You have to go um, with an offset all the like very more and often. Most of my heroes, heroes, champions, a lot of them have offset builds. So this is an amazing piece. That is also pretty spicy as well. 30. Well, close enough to 30. That's pretty bad, to be honest. Like, we've got an attack percentage. I should I should just bin it, to be honest. It's going, yeah. And even though, because, like, with Swift Parry, you know, we're getting crit damage, we're getting speed. But I just, yeah, it's just, you know, that must have been sitting on my account for years. It's not getting used. Sell it. Just sell it. Merciless, I will let off just because... It's a cheeky set, um, but yeah, but you can do this with anything and you can also do it with like another one that's really good to do this with is where priority stats. There we go. So we're going to take off the crit rate and speed. Speed is also really nice. So you don't always just have to go with speed sets. Why am I not using this? That should be on like on one of my turn meter boost champions that will be getting put on soon but this is what happens all well. like sometimes it just takes so long to get this gear we forget to actually even put it on champions so yeah definitely need to be doing that so back to gear cleansing so i've shown you what i would do with weapons and just want to talk about um, uh, where was the big issue was perception so let's have a look at perception and with perception i mean pfft, that's pretty terrible. That should be going. For perception, I just want speed and accuracy. Sometimes you do want speed, accuracy, and crit damage as substats because you can build these like hybrid builds that are very, very tasty. That's a very nice piece. This is good to keep. I wish it had more rolls and crit rate, but it doesn't. That's nice. That's a really tasty piece. Keep that. Keep that. That's that's solid as well. So with perception as well, you can build these nice hybrid builds where you go. Um, if you've got speed, resistance, and accuracy, um, like Lydia back in the day, this used to be a pretty cool build. So you'd have like four hundred resistance, four hundred accuracy, and it just means that you can land your debuffs, but also she can resist a lot of stuff as well. So the next thing we're going to move on, we're going to skip helmet and shield because it's the same rules. Weapon, shield, and helmet, it's the same rules. So now we're going to look at gloves on perception. And that is... Okay, so first of all, we've got a terrible primary stat, but the speed and accuracy can make this pretty useful. You could use this on someone like um, Archmage Helmet because we've also got crit rate and he needs crit rate to do certain things. Uh, I think like to land his stun. So that's actually kind of a good piece. It's not great, but it's not bad. But usually, oh, this is just unfortunate. 
the if um that was speed and crit rate that would be god tier and because it's hard to come by i've sort of kept it because this would be good for like a defensive new card like harima so i've kept that to be fair it probably should be sold this can definitely be sold i don't think it's going to land in speed so there's no point i will always keep gear where with this if I could get, like, if that was a quad roll in speed, this becomes a god tier piece. So I always sort of hold on to these pieces just in case. But just give them a double roll. We can do that now. So double roll. If it does not land, okay. Got one roll in speed. Let's go for double speed. Nope. That's trash. Insta sell. Um, that does have potential, though. That could also be good for. Um, a bomber like Gaius um, or the Rat King. Bombers, they need accuracy, they need attack percentage, and they need speed. So this piece as well, actually pretty juicy. It's a shame there's no speed on it, but whenever there's crit rate and crit damage gloves, you know, I tr you, if it's legendary, definitely keeping it. That's... Okay, so we've got attack. If we could get one in crit rate, nope, that's getting sold. That's terrible. I want at least a double roll in crit rate. So there's our HP percentage. And with perception, perception's good with crit damage, HP percentage, defense percentage. Um, what, what are the other primary stats that are pretty good? Even crit rate as well. I mean, attack percentage as well is kind of niche. Um, again, so that's double roll in speed. Definitely keeping that. Um, again, that's just good for bomb champions. So I, what I'm going to do now is just quickly compare to see what we've got. So single roll, single roll in speed. So there's no real point in keeping all of these. So that's flat stats in the defense. That's getting sold. That one's got percentage. So we're going to keep the rare over the epic. It just makes sense. And we'll sell that one as well. So... We're just going to keep three pieces of HP percentage. Defense percentage, we have gone overkill. So, okay, that looks like it's going to be one of the ones to go. Single row on speed, then terrible substat. Crit damage, I'll keep it just because resistance, nice. Resistance, always like useful. Triple roll in speed, that is a god tier piece. This one can go because it's single roll. Single roll and HP, kind of nice, but okay. So that one's got the accuracy, so definitely keeping that. Nice double roll in defense. And, oh, I mean, the good thing about crit rate is that obviously it's going to bump up our damage, but really we've got so much defense already. We kind of, we want to make space. So we're going to sell that. Crit rate is really, really good as well. So, obviously, if you're building nukas for the arena, we're always going for crit damage. Have I got no, no crit rate percentage? Okay. I thought I had more for my perception. Interesting. I definitely felt like I had more. Okay, so that's really good, actually. We've managed to trim the fat off quite a bit there. So, the next thing we're going to do is now look at chests. And I think I'm going to skip boots because boots is pretty much the same. Um, boots we're just looking for main priority stat would be speed speed being the king of boots um, i do keep um, attack percentage if it's got speed and crit rate and crit damage because that can be a um, like god tier for arena nukas same with hp percentage and defense percentage um it, but then you know certain pieces like regeneration i would keep um hp and defense with rolls of speed just so you can build like those solo builds for certain content as well. So here, and we're just going to narrow this down, see if we do have any bad pieces. So both these pieces are worth keeping because we've got the triple roll in speed and we can use this for a turn meter booster. So we'll keep that. So again, start off with the HP. That's fine. Four pieces. I don't feel like I need to do anything there. Attack percentage though, way too much going on that's a nice piece single roll in speed double roll in crit rate and is attack percentage keeping that this one no speed so that might get sold not feeling this 
It's always difficult to try and get that crit rate. Oh, see, that's just... Sometimes it is so hard to make these decisions. But yeah, I'm not feeling... See, this one... Yeah, they don't have the speed. They're going. And just going to flick through these one more time. So this one, double crit damage and crit rate is okay. Um, I just always find it's difficult when you're building a build. And you land on res. So not the best. And this one, th these are like pretty much the same piece, to be honest. Um, I'm going to sell this one and keep the other one. But yeah, when I'm building here, um, when I'm building a champion like a Nuka, I usually find it's harder to get the crit rate up than it is to get the crit damage. So that's why I would always prioritize crit rate over um, over 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 crit damage. So that's a pretty solid piece to be honest. We've got a speed, we've got a crit rate. Shame there's no crit damage in there. But this is a piece I'm keeping for ideally a Nuka. That's a good piece. That is a good piece. It's like it's so hard to get decent. Um, this is even, in a way, this is this piece I would prefer. But we've got the crit damage here as well, and nice bit of speed on it as well. So can't complain there. Resistance, speed, and accuracy, keeping it. Double roll in defense. Uh, it's okay. And then. I think I'm just going to have to sell the rest of the pieces because I just don't need that gear. Um, and it's just, it's taking up too much space on the account. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to have a look at boots. I think I'll do this off air because that's quite a bit of, quite a bit of work to be done there. But I think hopefully that should be enough for you guys to get the idea of what you need to be doing when you gear cleanse. And I'm not going to lie, it's boring. Um, there's going to be lots of issues on the account. It's just hard. I feel that, I think I've already said this, but you know, you become attached to gear and you sometimes well, like when you're, you're farming, you don't know what's in your account. Sometimes you get something, you go, oh yeah, I'll just keep it. And then you need to come back at it later and then look at it and go, damn, what was I doing? But we've already made, we've already cleared like 100 pieces. So that is a decent amount of clearing. Definitely got way more to go. Yeah, I mean, lethal is one. Lethal, I mean, protection as well. Like, both these sets need some work. And stone skin, I think is, yeah, stone skin is such a difficult set because it's so, so good. But it is just, like, that is taking up a lot of space. Um, and it's, it is so broken. But, yeah, definitely a lot of work to be done here. But that is pretty much the end of the year, guys. I hope this helps you guys with your gear cleansing. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.